Welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show or whatever we call this, doesn't really matter. Uh, this time we're going to talk about really, really cool feature uh, on SharePoint. Uh, so as an example, personally, I've been working on SharePoint portals back, since back in 2006, which is a bit horrifying. But right now we're talking about something which people have been asking us to roll out, which is really, really cool. And we have the feature PM available here to talk about and demonstrate the feature as well. So Caitlin, Will you do a quick intro and then let's talk about what is today's feature? Uh, what yeah. are we going to show you today? Yeah, thanks so much. My name is Caitlin. I am a product manager on the SharePoint Sites and Pages team. And today I'm really excited to talk about flexible sections. It's a feature I've been working on for the past year or so, and I am so excited that authors are finally going to be able to use it. Flexible sections are a new section type that allows authors to break out of the existing column structure in SharePoint. And so with these flexible sections, the design possibilities for sections are now endless. Users can drag and drop web parts anywhere on a grid. They can resize web parts, overlap web parts. So really excited to demo that today. Yeah, that's really, really cool. And then the key point here is to understand that it's a flexible layout. So we didn't actually kind of introduce a new page type. We didn't basically say that your existing page type cannot adapt this. We're basically saying any existing page, you can actually include a new section layout, which will give you the flexibility. Or you can create a new page with only with flexible layouts. Right, Caitlin? Yes, yeah, so existing pages, you can create a flexible section on any page. Um, you can have flexible sections and column sections. So it's not a new page type, it's just a new section type that will be available yep. across all pages and news posts. Cool. Let's actually jump on the demo because that's the easiest way to understand what are we talking. What is flexible layout? So let me enable uh, the demo mode. Here we go. So we can see the beautiful pages of SharePoint in practice. So here you'll notice I am in editing mode for a page that I'm authoring. When you click on the plus button for this section toolbox, you'll notice a new flexible section type that has been added. When you add this flexible section to the canvas, you can then use the content pane toolbox on the right to add web parts. So I'll grab a stock image from the right and then drag and drop it into my section. You can then use the toolbar to move the web part anywhere you want within this section and you, it'll drop to the nearest grid line. So if I drop it here, it'll be there. And then I also have the ability to resize sections manually. There's a resize handle at the bottom right that I can click and then drag and drop to resize my section, make it bigger or smaller. And then lastly, I'll show you that you can resize web parts as well. Um, so here you'll notice that I have uh, image and I'm resizing it and it drops to the nearest grid line. So there's a lot of functionality that is available within these flexible sections. Now I'm going to scroll down and show you a flexible section that I've already started working on. Um, so here you'll notice a fully flexible section has some images, some text, and a quick link swap part. Um, one important thing to note is that the resizing with web parts is somewhat different across different web parts. For example, the text and image web parts have fully dynamic resizing, meaning that they can have any widths. However, there are some web parts, such as the Quick Links web part, that only have four designated widths that you can have for that specific web part. And you'll notice the kind of drop hints that align with the web part size options. Um, you will also have the ability to overlap web parts, as you see here with these two image web parts. And there is a new arrange items drop down in the web part toolbar. So you can bring to front, send to back, bring forward, send backward. You'll notice when I send this one all the way to the back, it's now underneath the web part that it was previously on top of. Some other cool functionality. Like, I have to say, about. that's like a PowerPoint slide editing experience, like in a PowerPoint. Yes. It's, it's exactly the same. Feeling. Yes, we are trying to kind of mimic a lot of PowerPoint capabilities here. Yeah. Um, I do want to highlight multi-select. So if you have two images or two web parts that you want to move together, you can click one of the web parts, hold control on the keyboard, and then click the other one. And you'll notice that now you're in a multi-selection mode. And you can move these web parts together, duplicate them, delete them, or even adjust their arrangement together. So here you'll see when I move both of the web parts, I can move them like so. Um, and then you also have the ability to group web parts. So if you know that you have a couple of web parts that you always want to be together, you can group them. And when you go to make other adjustments on your page, let's say, let's edit this text, let's move this image up. Whenever I go back to that one of those web parts in that group, the group actually gets selected first. 
And then if you click on the web part again, it'll select that individual web part. And I still have the ability to make edits to individual web parts in a group, even when it is grouped. Um, and, and another thing that you're seeing is that we have added alignment cues. So when you're moving web parts on a page, we are showing you alignment cues so that you can easily align web parts to other web parts on the page, as well as the section. Um, so you'll notice alignment cues on the section as well. So I think that's it in terms of functionality within flexible sections that I wanted to cover. Last thing I do want to mention is that we, with the introduction of these flexible sections, we've revamped our section templates. So you'll notice on the bottom of the content pane toolbox, we now have new section templates available here that are scenario-based templates. Some of them are flexible. Some of them are going to be traditionally column-based um, sections, and you have the ability to drag and drop these sections onto the canvas. So if I see a section template that I want, I can easily drag and drop it onto the canvas. Like so. Yeah. And then you can modify that based on a business requirement. Uh, definitely. And I can see multiple section of uh, flexible layouts, uh, Excel layouts there, definitely as a section template. That's really cool. That's a starting yeah. point. Really, really cool. And I, I love the, by the way, the fact this is this is something I think that we, we talked about it in the intro as well, something what customers have been wanting us to do with SharePoint for a long, long, long time because it provides so much flexibility. Um, and of course, there's other products which have been doing this. Um, and then I love the fact that we kind of really thought about this too. So we want to have a section, not just a new page type, which gives you right. the flexibility. So now you can benefit from the existing layouts and existing sections, existing content uh, uh, in certain cases, and then you can take advantage of the flexible layout uh, as needed. So that's really, really cool. So. Yeah. Now, let me actually move into to the talking mode a bit. Uh, so what about feature? Uh, so uh, are all of the web parts now supported? Uh, or how does that work um, uh, from a functionality perspective? Yeah, so great question. All web parts are supported by default in flexible sections. The only difference is the web part widths, as I mentioned. So all first party and even custom web parts are supported in flexible sections. You can add them to your section. Um, but we're in the process of you know, providing some documentation for custom web parts so that users can onboard their own custom web parts to be fully flexible with different widths as well. Yep. And on that one, I need to elaborate. So we are, we are going to release a SharePoint framework 1.21 for those who are technical or developer, uh, which will actually have the insights details. So for example, in the code, uh, in the web part code, you're able to say, hey, am I in a flexible layout? And then uh, behave differently. And also what are the settings and width, default width, whenever your custom web part is getting in place. So that's rolling out actually. Uh, hopefully this, I'm, I'm not promising anything, which is not true, but it should be rolling out still in, uh, to preview in February 20. 25, which is really, really cool. So more guidance, more op opportunities also for custom developers. Uh, but anybody, there's a lot of stuff already available in out-of-the-box capabilities as well, for sure. And you can really build uh, beautiful looking uh, pages. Yes. Which, by the way, reminded me, so we are recording this in a mid-February. Uh, please, please, please also join us on a uh, SharePoint Hackathon, which is happening in early March 2025. Uh, if you're watching the video uh, after that, uh, there's going to be additional videos and demos and examples on flexible layouts and cool designs and cool portals. Um, we really wanted to align also the flexible layout portal uh, functionality release with that hackathon so people can actually have additional creative capabilities which they can take advantage uh, within their portals. Cool. I guess that's about it uh, for this show. Thank you, Caitlin, uh, on joining on the on the uh, video recording one more time. Um, looking forward on the future and seeing what the customers are building uh, on flexible layouts and such an awesome feature, right? Yes. Thank you so much. Really excited and looking forward to see what customers build, as you mentioned. Yeah. Please share us pictures and put us feedback on the video and on the blog post. And we're here to uh, address any of your questions. Uh, let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't like. Uh, we are we really, really, really want to have your feedback on this feature as well. But thank you, Caitlin. And thank you, anybody, for watching. And, and please, 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 thank you. Thank you for the feedback advance. So please add some.